Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and sorry for the background noise here. I'm in my crypto mining room here with one of my rigs and a few of my ASICs, but they're not on. But my one rig is here. But anyways, for today's video, I will be going over all my rig setup and the cost for it and how much I'm making from my all my rig setups. Because I have these two rigs here, that's the CPU miner down there. GPU rig, I have another one in my living room because I can't do any more power in here because I normally run my amp miners as well. But I'll be showing you all my rigs I have up and going and all the rigs I have. And then we'll be jumping over to the computer and I will be showing you everything on Hive OS and what I'm mining and the profit of each coin that I am mining and how much it's costing me and everything. I figured just to do like an update video since I have it in a bit and I've been expanding on my rigs and all my mining just so you guys know as you can tell here I figured just to make this update video so everyone knows like where I'm at with mining and if I am still mining and all that kind of stuff. So to start out here in my mining room here I have my one GPU rig here it, it has uh, two, four, six cards. These ones are all AMD 4 gigabyte cards, these first three. They're AMD RX 470s and they're each 4 gigabytes. This is a gigabyte GTX 1650 4 gigabyte. This is a 1660 6 gigabyte. And this one's also a 1660 gigabyte. So I have a mix of 4 gigabyte and 6 gigabyte just because I was originally going to make this all 4 gigabyte cards, but then a couple of mine like uh, stopped working. So I just replaced them with a couple 6 gigabyte cards that I had laying around for now. And down below here, I just have a CPU rig running. I had it all set up, I just don't have the display and stuff hooked up with the monitor right now. But it's currently mining uh, Monero or XMR, or I believe it's mining Zypher, whichever unminable converts to. And then that's being paid out in Flux because I'm using Unminable. And this one up here is directly mining Flux and it's being paid out on Unminable. I like the whole Flux atmosphere and the whole crypto coin and I like mining it. It's not too harsh on power or anything. And then that one's just converted automatically from whatever Cypher or XMR and uh, converting or Monero or whatever and converting over to Flux on my pool as well. And then if we go over here, I will dive into like all the power consumption, all that over on my computer because it's easier to see. But if we go over here, these two are my two ASICs. You might say, oh, you only see one. The other one's in the actual box here. So this is an Antminer L3++. I only paid about $25 for this. I had to rig up a fan for the back here, as you can see. But it works and everything. I just don't have the capacity of power to run it because I'm only in an apartment and this is my other L3 plus plus here or L3 plus whatever it is um, and I normally run this I just haven't had it running for a bit because I was testing that one out so I have this one shut off I have it running on the Hive OS firmware for ASIC and it only consumes about 660 watts of power and it gets about 502 mega hash and that's on the script network so that's mining Dogecoin and Litecoin it's the same with this guy so if you do want a good ASIC firmware, I suggest using Hive OS because you can underclock it and overclock it. And like I said, currently I have it only consuming 660 watts. That's better than the 800 plus watts that normally consumes without any setting changes or anything like that. And I keep all the mega hash. But normally I have it running set up here. I made a whole cooler for it as you can see here. All I did was I bought this cooler just from Walmart or whatever. And then I took a saw and drilled some holes. I made sure to make these cones first. And then I measured out the sides, cut them, and fit them in because it's a venting system. So this is the intake. It just pulls in air from here, runs right through the ASIC, and then blows out the back here, as you can see. And it keeps a lot quieter. It's a whole noise suppression. Because these are all have insulation and everything, so it's already like soundproof, so you don't have to buy anything additional. And then you just close her up, and it cuts the noise a lot. And I just cut a little hole on the side here for the power supply. I'm thinking eventually I might prop it up to the side here just to make it a little cleaner of a setup. But yeah, I just have it sitting on some styrofoam just to reduce noise for down below because I'm in an apartment here. But yeah, it's a pretty good setup for ASICs. So if you're looking for something for noise suppression, they do have like the noise suppressors you can buy on eBay. But if you want to do it yourself and have a little fun, this is a good and cheap way to do it. And it keeps it really cool because it directs the airflow a lot better instead of just having it free flowing out in the open air. So in this room I have my two ASICs, my CPU miner, and then my GPU miner. I'm eventually going to work on another GPU miner maybe for in here, depending if I continue to run the ASICs. 
because I have another board down here as well that's about five GPUs that can uh, run on that uh, board there because I will be moving soon because I am in an apartment but hopefully I'll be moving soon so that way I can uh, get some more power and set up some more panels and stuff and then be able to run more rigs because believe it or not down here I have about a box there's about four or five uh, amp miner s9s in there with all power supplies so that's about another 5,000 plus watts right there so I obviously can't run that right here in my apartment here but hopefully if I move sometime next year or in the coming time I will be able to hook up all my ASICs and then all my GPU rigs and everything but now we're going to jump out to my living room and I'm going to show you my rig out there so if we come out to my living room here this is my big main rig is a 12 GPU frame but I only have about eight GPUs running on it because that's all my power supply can run for right now and it came with a little monitor as well so you can monitor everything so that way you don't have to like plug in an external monitor this just runs through HDMI and everything and it just obviously it's just ran on Hive OS so it just tracks all that um, I bought this frame it was the frame this shelf and this like polyester sheet or whatever you want to call it they just ignore the shoes obviously so this black shelf this piece this whole frame and the monitor came with it it was only for fifty dollars on my local marketplace so I had a motherboard that I could use and then I hooked up all the risers he gave me a bunch of risers as well but these are just the NVIDIA P106 100 cards they're six gigabyte cards and this is currently mining ergo just so it doesn't take much power consumption with ergo it's a lot easier on the cards and the heat is not as bad compared to like something like Raven or Kapow if you will so I chose to mine Ergo and they're currently profitably mining Ergo. I make about nine to ten dollars a month after paying electricity, but I obviously ignore that because I just use my uh, bill money from like my job and everything to pay that and I just kind of mine for the fun part of it. But if I were to actually pay it with uh, my crypto, I'd be making about ten bucks a month with this setup. So it's good to see crypto, you know, finally making a comeback in the mining world, I guess you can say because a lot, a lot of cards are becoming profitable, just depending on the algorithm. But that's a given because over time, eventually things are gonna start pumping again, hopefully in the crypto market. That's not financial advice or anything, but that's just from information I get and all that. But this consumes about around like 400, 450 watts of power, if I'm not mistaken. So not too bad for uh, eight, six gigabyte cards. And I just have the one power supply and this thing runs pretty nicely and quiet and cool. I have it out in my living room here just because I can run it in that other room, but it just gets really warm. I don't have any airflow situation set up there. So I uh, figured just to put it in my living room and it stays very nice and cool out here. It runs in like some of the cards are running like 39, 40 degrees. Some are running like the highest one I think is like 51 degrees. So it's very nice and cool. It keeps the mega hash up and everything because I have overclocks and all that set. But I will be showing you all that on Hive OS. I just wanted to show you this actual setup. And when I did buy it, this guy had like this frame part set up so you can screw it right down. So I screwed it right down and these little pieces, this one fell off, but I had to slide it back on. But it slides around there and holds everything in place just like that. It slides right in and holds it perfectly. It was a perfect setup. I couldn't pass up the deal, especially in my local town. There's nothing really for mining or anything like that that comes up very often. So for $50, I could not pass that up. And now I have one full rig with all my NVIDIA P106 100 cards instead of having them spread out between like three or four different mining rigs because I was maxed out on them. And that's why it seems like I have less rigs, but really I don't. I just condensed so that way I can use less motherboards and less power, but still running the same amount, about 14 or 15 graphics cards here, plus my uh, CPU miner, plus I have two A6 that I can run maybe if I set it up properly and get the overclocks right, I might be able to run one or two of them. Just all depends, but when I move, hopefully things change. But again, I just wanted to show you the actual setup of my rigs and like all my ASICs and everything and showing you guys like how my farm or the process of it is going because that was always a part of my channel. And as you can tell, I'm slowly expanding. I plan to fill that other board as well and I have about seven ASICs in total and two of them are L3++. So if I ever do make a move anytime soon here, I will be set to set up a garage full of ASICs or a basement full of ASICs, whatever. 
But now we will jump over to Hive OS and we will take a look at all the power consumptions and take a look at what I'm paying for power and the profit range for Ergo and Flux at least. I'm not going to do a bunch of other coins, I'm just paying attention to the ones I'm mining here. Alright, so now we're over on my computer here and we're logged into my Hive OS farm. And as you see, I have my one L3 set up, but it's not running. My other one is my two GPU rigs here. My CPU rig is running on Windows, so it's not set up because I can never get CPU mining to work properly in Hive OS. So I just have luck with GPUs here. So as you see, we're on my Hive OS farm here, and I'm currently mining Ergo on my one rig, like I mentioned. And then my other one is mining Flux. I'm taking about 924 watts, sometimes about 940 or more. Just depends on how powerful the rig is running. Sometimes it takes a little more, a little less. As you know, it kind of fluctuates when mining. We'll kind of just refresh it here. And as you can tell, it's down to 922. But as we see here, we'll quickly pop into my Ergo rig here. This is that big one I have running out my living room. And as you see, the temperatures are fairly low on them. I have my patio just in a slight crack right now. And I have the overclocks running. It's all only taking 60 watts each. And it runs about anywhere from 32 to 33 to 34 mega hash with these cards. So in total, I'm getting about 267.2 mega hash and consuming about 480 watts of power. So if we go over to the mining profitability of Ergo, I punch in, was it 267.2? And mind you, this is in uh, Canadian. So... If you punch in how much, you can check your calculation as well. Uh, I get about 0 0.48477 ergo in a 24-hour span. So about $1.11. So it's still profitable for me because in a 30-day span, I make about $33 Canadian in total when mining ergo with my one rig there. And then if we go over to this energy cost calculator, and then we select my country, which is Canada. We don't have to select appliance. Power consumption was 480 watts. I use it 24 hours a day, and it uses 11.52 uh, kilowatt hours a day. And my cost for my hydro is about six or seven cents, I think. We'll do, yeah, we'll do about six. I think it's about 6.7. So if we calculate each month, this rig costs me about only about $20 to run, but then it, I make about $33. So I have about a 10 to $13 profit. It's not a huge profit, but it shows that mining is coming back and is becoming profitable. Obviously, just depending on the price of your electricity and everything, because per day, it's only costing me 70 cents, where I'm making with Ergo $1.11. So my profit is pretty wide with this. And that's just with Ergo. There's other more profitable algorithms, but I like Ergo because it's not hard on the cards. It doesn't have much heat it pumps out, and it doesn't consume much power. And then you yourself, you can use this calculator. I'll post it down in the description, so you can check it out if you want to calculate. You select your country and everything, and that way it just gives you the proper calculations in USD, uh, CAD, or whatever currency you're using. So that's not too bad considering where mining's at and where the crypto market's at. And that's just for my Ergo rig. And as you see here, it's just all my PU106 100s. But if we go back to my farm, we can take a look at my Flux rig here. I had it labeled as 4 gigabyte because that's what it originally was. But some 6 gigabyte, like I said, got in the mix as well. And as you see, these cards are running a little higher temperature. Like I said, the airflow is not as good in that room, so some are running a lot warmer than others. So I kind of have to work on that, but that's something I'm adjusting. That's why in the video, you see my rig was kind of in the middle of the room because I'm trying different layouts to see what gets the best airflow for my rig. But that's besides the point. As we see, I'm mining on Flux here, which is Equihash125. And I'm getting about 110.9 souls a uh, second here, or whatever it is. And like we went over here, the temperatures, it consumes a, around the same power consumption as Ergo, but it runs a little hotter, so it's kind of like Raven or Kapow, but the power limit is kind of like um, Ergo and Autolycos, if you will. So if we go over the flux calculator here, 110.9, we'll put the exact amount here. So in Canadian dollar, that's 72 cents every 24 hours, so not as like profitable, not as crazy. But I'm still making 0 0.86 flux. I just support flux, so I decide to mine it at a loss or a win, whatever. So per month, I'm getting about $21.58 from that rig. So not too bad overall. If we go over to the energy cost, it was about 430 watts, so not much difference. 
and we calculate that it's costing me about eighteen dollars and i'm only making about 21 so in total about like only about two or three dollar profit but it's still profitable but i'm just mining flux because it's kind of on the low point and like i said i support the whole network and the atmosphere around flux itself it never hurts to mine something that you do support and you are behind in the crypto atmosphere so yeah, overall, this is kind of handy to use, this energy calculator. I kind of just came across it. It does the math for you, so you don't have to do it at calculator or anything. And then this is just uh, the calculator from two miners. So you can go ahead and use it. They have a bunch of other coins you can go ahead and check out. And you can use their pool as well, because this is the profits from their pool and how many blocks they're uh, pulling in and how many miners are on their network and stuff like that. So, But it still gives you a rough estimate overall what you're going to make. Depending on how the pool processes payments, sometimes you make a little more, a little less, and depending on the percentage on what the pool takes. But yeah, overall, I do not mind running uh, this setup like the whole Flux and Ergo. I find it's very consuming on power, like it doesn't take a lot of power consumption. Uh, the only downside, the Flux, is just like the heat. So it pumps out a lot of heat, just like Raven or anything, but the power is considerably close to like Ergo. As we see here, it's a bit lower, but mind you, I'm running a lot less cards on this rig, and they're just 4 gigabyte cards. I'm thinking eventually I may switch it over to Ergo, since you can mine 4 gigabyte cards on Ergo. Like I said, I just want to build up a little bit of flux for the time being, and eventually I might just be a full Ergo miner, because lately it's been pumping back up in price, and eventually one day if it gets back to where it was, it's going to be a very profitable mine. Because it was up there before the Ethereum merge. But then once the Ethereum merge happened, a lot of miners went to Ergo. And it kind of killed the difficulty in price and things like that. But I still am behind it. And lately it's getting more and more profitable. So why not? But yeah, that's just an overview of my whole setup and my whole mining rig. I know I don't have the L3s running. So we can't really see much of those. But my wattage is about 660 watts. And I'm pulling about 502 mega hash. I haven't looked at a calculator much for it. But I know the A6s are a little less profitable because they're not as free to be able to mine whatever coin and whatever algorithm like GPUs are. But yeah, I figured just to give a full overview of my current setup and where I'm at with mining and the power consumptions of these coins in case you guys want to get into one of these coins or if it's something that you want to mine because maybe just depending on temperature or hydro, this may be a better option for you because sometimes with like nice hash and other pools they don't list every single algorithm like I use nice hash for my calculator and it never came up with like uh ergo as like a profitable mine or anything so it's good to see that like there is options out in the crypto market especially as of late because of things are pumping back up yeah obviously we're not where we're at like a few years ago but each day we're kind of climbing closer a little bit of drops a little bit of pumps we can expect that but i'm just happy that mining is becoming more profitable at least in my price range for my hydro and the cards that i'm using it may vary for you obviously so it might not be fully profitable but it is for me and hopefully it is for you as well but hopefully this gives you some insight into some other coins to mine i know i just posted a video on some meme coins and smaller projects but these ones are more established. But yeah, that's all I really got for you guys today. I just kind of wanted to establish where I'm at with mining and everything. If this did bring some information to you or you just enjoyed this type of video, make sure that like and subscribe button as it lets me know you're enjoying it. And that way you get notified when I upload like tutorials or these type of videos, just all my content. But yeah, that's all I got. I hope you all have an amazing day. And this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.